On this episode of Coffee with Grandpa, we're going to be discussing use and reuse. One thing that became very common during the Great Depression was individuals using and reusing things over and over again, um, using them until they were beyond worn out. As an example, um, we'll take a t-shirt. You wear a t-shirt nowadays, most people, it gets ripped, it gets stained, they go ahead and they throw it away. They go get a new t-shirt. A lot of times, t-shirt wouldn't be thrown away. Good cotton t-shirt makes a great cleaning rag. So, you get that t-shirt dirty, you go ahead and cut it up, turn it into cleaning rags, or rags for washing your car. Maybe you need some char cloth. Go ahead and cut it up and turn it into char cloth. It's worth saving the old t-shirts. Regular shirts, you cut them up, you've got plenty of fabric to sew something else. Um, assuming you sew, and a lot of people don't, and we'll go into that in a little bit. Actually, we'll do some episodes on sewing and specifically. Reusing bacon grease. Keep a cup next to the, the stove. When you make bacon in the morning, you pour that excess grease off into that cup. Later that day, you need some grease to make something. You need a little bit of oil. You use that bacon grease. Now, I still do this, and that is some great stuff. You can just take a, a knife to bacon grease and spread it on toast. <laughs> it tastes great. We use it for a variety of things in cooking, especially when you need a little bit of seasoning. You need to make some biscuits. Put a little bacon grease in them. They taste great. The point is is that you should use things until they can't be used anymore. You should use them up. You have paid good money for them. And if you can find secondary uses after the primary use is done, go for it. If not, donate it to charity. Most people do. We'll go over a lot of use and reuse in this. In what ways do you use and reuse things? That's the question for today. So go ahead and post in the comments and tell me what things you use and reuse and how you reuse them after their normal use is up. To quote Benjamin Franklin, he said, the way to wealth is as plain as the way to market. It depends chiefly on two words, industry and frugality. That is, waste neither time nor money, but make the best of both. Without industry and frugality, nothing will do, and with them, everything. Again, Benjamin Franklin.